Hello, welcome to Reasons to Hope week 27. I am going to make this short and sweet. It's the uh, holiday weekend um, behind us and now we're launching full on into summer and I personally am feeling a little bit exhausted. So I wanted to uh, honor that, but also honor the process that we've established now for 27 weeks, writing the book of hope together, where we are taking a moment each day to note what we are thankful for and to get together once a week on Instagram and talk about what's giving us reasons to hope. So thank you for participating for 27 weeks and hanging in there with us. I just want to encourage you to remember that whatever it is that you're going through right now, whether it's joy, that it's summertime, whether it's exhaustion, that you just got through a big holiday weekend and now you've gone back to work, um, whether it's fear around some serious life issues, whatever it is, there is hope to be found and there is grace for all of us. And I think for me, I've been thinking a lot, kind of a, an on, I've been having this ongoing sort of experience thinking about um, how to negotiate the difference between you know hope and faith in God's promises and just the very very real human everyday fears that we experience whether they're small or big I think it all really comes down to um, just fear of death and fear of, of our own mortality and fear of losing ones we love and and that sense that longing that we have to be long you know that um, one of my favorite verses in uh, the Old Testament is in Ecclesiastes where King Solomon's writing about how God has made everything beautiful in its time. And he has set eternity in man's heart and no one can fathom his ways. And I just think that that's such a beautiful reminder. It's a reminder to me that like I can live these questions. I don't have to have the answers. Um, I can be tired. I don't have to feel grateful all the time or hopeful all the time, but I can feel a sense of grace and a sense of peace in the midst of that and just um, knowing that there is more than what we can even fathom or understand. And so I just wanna thank you all for being here. I can't believe we made it through 27 weeks. Uh, we have a lot of really beautiful guests coming up for the remainder of the year. And so I encourage you to follow Root and Vine News and to give us uh, what's giving you reasons to hope. Let us know because it's encouraging to us to see that. So hashtag reasons to hope, tag at Root and Vine News. And um, I do want to acknowledge we just celebrated our nation's freedom and there are some incredible freedoms we enjoy as Americans. And we wrote about those at rootandvinenews.com and about our responsibility to uphold those uh, freedoms and to love our neighbors in the process. So I just want to encourage you to stop over at rootandvinenews.com, check that out. And I'm coming at you from the beautiful woods of Ohio. I was actually hanging out in that hammock because everybody needs to rest, because uh, rest is important and I would encourage you to find a moment to rest. But I would also encourage you to find a moment to get underneath the tree because uh, there's something so soothing and powerful about trees. And you know, in the Bible, God talks about trees only second uh, to the number of times he talks about men and humans. Um, so I think that, that there's something really powerful to be learned in the presence of God's great creation in a forest. And the good news is most of us, even if we live in cities, we can find a tree somewhere to sit underneath. And that's what I am doing for the rest of my day. And I also wanna read to you a little poem that I found which kind of encouraged me to get out here today. So in closing, we will read The Peace of Wild Things by Wendell Berry. And thank you all again so much for being here. This is The Peace of Wild Things. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the peace of still water and I feel alive. Above me, the day blind stars waiting with their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world and am free. I hope you find rest in the grace of the world this week and I can't wait to see you next Monday at three o'clock Eastern for more reasons to hope. Thank you so much. We'll see you all again soon. Have a beautiful week.